Let's click on generate images and let's wait for the magic. If it is getting generated using AI, this is mind blowing. I have just created a blog and in the hero section, I'm using this stock photography image. And this is the image that I have generated using Elementor AI. Amazing, isn't it? And that's what we are going to cover in this video. How we can use Elementor AI to generate text as well as images for our WordPress websites and blogs. If that sounds interesting, let's dive in. So let's take an example of this sample travel blog that we are building using Elementor and let's see how we can use the Elementor AI to generate some images as well as the text for this blog. So before we begin, we only have the Elementor free version right now. And if you go in the settings for Elementor under features, let's go ahead and enable all. Along with that, let's go ahead and install the developer edition as well. So if there's any update in the developer version for AI, we will get that as well. All right. So now we have an update for the free version here. Let's update this. All right. So now we are ready and we have the Elementor developer edition as well. And let's come back to the home page of this blog. So first up, let's try to rewrite this heading here using our AI. So let's click on this. On the title, we have a new option added here that is write with AI. So let's try this. But before we do that, we need to link this website to our Elementor account. And this is actually the free account with Elementor that you can create. So let's go ahead and connect this site. So I'll click on connect from here. And I already have an account and it is already logged in. So that's why I directly see this link screen. So let's go ahead and click on connect. So let's click on approve for the terms and condition and let's get started. Right now it's just taking the text that we have written in the title here, but we want a new heading. So we will go for a new prompt here and we will give it a simple prompt. So let's try this heading for a travel blog with just two to three words. Let's click on generate text. It says roaming with purpose. I'm sure we can use that. So let's click on this use text button. And now we have changed our heading here. And maybe in the style, we can play around with color and typography. So maybe we can make it a little big and transform. Maybe we can use uppercase. And now for this subheading, we again go back to content. We again click on write with AI. And we will use a new prompt. So this is our new prompt to get a new tagline or a little bit of description for this travel blog. So let's click on generate text and see what it gives. All right. So here we have the blog description or a tagline. So we can definitely use that as well. So let's click on use text. All right. So we are done with the heading part. If we scroll down a little bit, we have some introduction. So maybe we can play around with that as well. So let's click on this. And once again, we will click on write with AI. Let's give it a new prompt. So we are trying to generate a two paragraph text, which will be an about section for the travel blog. And this travel blog is of Tom and Anna. So let's see what we get here. Let's click on generate text. So here we have the content, but it's a little bit long for the home page. So what we can do is use an option here. It says make it shorter. So let's click on that. All right, so here we have the about us section. Let's use this text. So this is how we can have an AI generated content on our website. So it's definitely better than using some sample text or Lorem Limpson. So if you're a designer and building this website or a blog for your client, you can definitely use this right with AI to generate some good quality text instead of using the sample Lorem Limpson text. So it's definitely going to give a feeling of a live website instead of a mock-up. All right, so now comes the fun part. We are going to generate images using Elementor AI. Let's see how it goes. So we come back here in our hero section and in the style, we can see we have a background image here. So wherever we have an image, maybe in form of a background or maybe as an image block like this one, we will be able to see a new option that is edit with AI. So let's see how it goes with the background image first. And here we can see we have a background image and I'm not sure if this image is copyright free or not. So what I can do is use the Elementor AI image generator. So we click on edit with AI. 
So one way is we can go ahead and edit this image itself. We can use expand, generate fill, resize, and maybe we can have some variations. So I'm not sure if it's going to work with my uploaded image or not, but I think the best way to use this is to use generate with a prompt option. So we will be able to generate a fresh image from the very beginning. So here we can see images and once we mouse over on them, we can see the exact prompt that has been used to generate all of these images. And this is pretty mind blowing. So let's try with some simple prompt and see what we can get. All right, so we have given a simple text prompt that is a couple sitting in mountains and watching sunset. So I wish I'll be able to create an image which will look something like this where we have a couple sitting in mountains and maybe watching a valley or sunset. So let's see how it goes. But before we proceed, we need to select image type. What type of image we want to generate? We have an option for photographic, background, digital art, handmade 3D. So for this one, I think photographic will be good enough. Once again, you can use all these images right away in your website. And best part is you get the exact prompt that has been used to generate these images. So maybe you can use the same prompt and you can edit that to generate your own version. And for the style, I think we can use landscape. And for the aspect ratio, we will choose landscape 16 by 9. Let's click on generate images and let's wait for the magic. Let's see how it goes. This is mind blowing. Now, I'm not sure if this is really an AI generated image or if it is just pulling some images from some stock photography website. But if it is getting generated from AI, this is mind blowing. But for this example, I think I'll be able to use this image. But instead of directly using it, let's play around a bit more. Let's click on edit and see what else we can do with it. So now we are back with this edit with AI option. And here we can expand, we can generate fill, resize and do some variations. So let's first do expand image. We want a long horizontal image. So here we can choose what part of the original image we want. So maybe we can shrink it down a little bit. We will leave the prompt as it is. And then we will click on generate once again. Right now it's asking us to upgrade. So I think this option is not available in the free version. So if I click here for the upgrade, it's going to take us to the Elementor AI, which is right now in the beta version. But as a starter, you will be able to purchase 18,000 credits per year at just $2.99 per month. So this is something separate from your Elementor Pro subscription. You need to add credits in order to generate these images and text. So I have just purchased the credits for the Elementor AI. So now we can explore the full potential of this. And now maybe we can refresh this page. So now we should have the full access of Elementor AI. So let's come back here and we will again try with this same image. We will click on edit with AI and we will again generate our same image. We will again choose all the same settings and then click on generate image. All right, so we have our images generated here and I think I'll be able to use this one. So let's go ahead and click on use this image first so that you don't lose it. And now we come back here, edit with AI and now we can play around with this. So first we are going to test expand images. So we are going to reduce this size. We will leave it as it is and let's click on generate. Let's see what shows up. So I'm expecting that it's going to use the same image and going to fill the rest of the area. So let's see how it goes. And that's exactly what happened. It generated four different variations of the same image and added some different elements here and there on both sides. So again, I'm going to use this image. Let's click on this. And now it's looking perfect in this container. So maybe we can play around with the background overlay. And let's come back here and do some more editing in this. So now let's try generate fill. Let's give a generate fill area. Let's try some big area here. Now let's see if that works. Let's click on generate. All right, looks like we have added few things here, but it looks broken. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So we have some hot air balloons, but but it's broken and it tried to generate something here, but it missed. And this one again, half filled. So it maybe it requires a little bit of more area to generate few things. So this time I'll try to add some more area 
and let's see if this can generate some good hot air balloons once again it tried to add few hot air balloons but it's not usable so maybe just because it's in the very early phase so this generate fill is not perfect right now but whatever it generated here using ai it's mind-blowing so maybe we can close this and we will stick with this image only and let's see how it works for some portraits so instead of this image let's see if we can generate a image for a couple so let's add it with ai and generate it with a prompt so we'll give a simple text travel couple close up posing in front of a lake so i think this is how i can describe this image and in the image type we will select photographic again and style we will choose portrait and for the image this time we can go maybe square one by one let's see how it goes or maybe portrait three by four i think that will be much better so let's see what it generates and once again this is mind-blowing so i think i can use any one of these two because they are looking directly in the camera so i think this is much more suitable for the home page so maybe let's click on this use image and let's try to edit this again this looks perfect and let's edit with ai so this time let's try some variations so in this we have given a simple prompt like make the girl hair shorter above this we have a slider we can use this to make the new image close to our prompt or close to our reference image so we will keep this in the middle because we want the same image but we also want to do the variation with our prompt so let's just play around with this and see how it works once again we will choose the same photographic image style as portrait portrait three by four regenerate again i think it worked a little bit for this one but let's try if we slide it closer to the prompt and using the same prompt and let's generate again and see how it works so somehow the regenerated image are not for a travel blog and i'm not sure why the man got replaced by uh, this lady here so once again the editing part with ai is not perfect i think expanding image definitely worked really well but i think generate fill and variation still need some work to be done but above all these images that are being generated using the prompts they are mind-blowing but it's definitely need some work on editing the image using ai so this is how we can use elementor ai to generate some amazing text and images for our wordpress websites and blogs now this is just in the very beginning stage i'm sure in the future releases we can see some major updates but whatever we have right now it's pretty amazing let me know in the comment section below what are your views about elementor ai and how you're going to use that on your wordpress website and if you like this video make sure you watch this video as well where we covered how you can use elementor to create some amazing looking elementor header effects like sticky header or transparent one and much more and for more wordpress videos like this make sure you subscribe to this channel so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video